Let's do a cat story. Rebecca was just 10 years old and she wanted a cat to come and live with her and her family. She didn't know what the cat would look like, but she said she would know it was the one as soon as she saw it. So the time came when she went with her mum to the cat adoption center. As they walked through the doors, Rebecca couldn't believe her eyes. Row upon row of cats and kittens of all ages, sizes and colors. Some noisy, hands up broccoli high kicks. Some shy, show your face Gary from admin for once. Some poking their faces through the front of the cubicle. Some fast asleep and having a cheeky snore. That would be you, Papa Coconuts. Some one dozy ones having a good old stare at the goings on. That would be Ravelly Downpipe. The kittens, of course, were just acting daft, including, but not limited to, Bubbles McParty, Tender Gary and Don Toffee. Rebecca walked slowly up and down each side of the room, taking time to look in each cage and assess whether each one was the one. But by the time she'd seen them all, she hadn't felt that little buzz, that little leap in her heart that would have told her that she'd found her special one. Can I just take all of them, said Rebecca, and then decide when we get home? But not the kittens, because, you know, they're just daft. No, we agreed just one, just your special one, said Rebecca's mum. I'll tell you what, I'll go outside and leave you alone with the cats and perhaps that will help you decide. Rebecca's mum left and as soon as the door shut, she heard, Psst, boy, over here. Then, hi, hi, Rebecca. Some of the cats were speaking to her. It was strange, for sure, but it made Rebecca laugh. A big white fluffy Persian cat with long whiskers and a bit of a miserable face beckoned her over. Hello, Rebecca. My name's Chips Whiffles. Why don't you take me home? I'm very classy and I never scratch and I'm incredibly accurate with the litter tray. Come on, take me home. I'm sorry, Chips Whiffles. I just don't think you're the one. Well, I didn't want to come with you anyway. I prefer it here. Good riddance. Psst, she heard again. It was a short-haired tabby cat with pointy ears and a little pursed mouth. Hello there, said Rebecca. What's your name? I'm Link Silversmith. I'm the prettiest, poshest cat in here. Don't you think? I'm gorgeous, aren't you? Don't you think? I do. Yes, you are very pretty, said Rebecca. Well, why don't you take me home with you? You'd be lucky to be seen with a cat as beautiful as what I am. Sorry, Link Silversmith, I just don't think you're the one. Actually, you know, on second thoughts, I don't think I want to come home with you anyway. I doubt your house would be sophisticated enough for a cat as elegant as me. Good riddance to you. Rebecca turned to see a brown and tan-coloured moggy with white socks and a black tip on her tail. What's your name? asked Rebecca. I'm Connie Backwash. I'm the most intelligent cat near like. Between you and me, the rest of them are all a bit thick, you know, especially that ravioli downpipe like. So sorry, Connie, I just don't think you're the one, said Rebecca. Ah, oh, then you're as thick as this lot and I'm glad I don't have to go to your boring home. Rebecca walked past all the rest of the cats. Nobody else spoke to her and it seemed to her her special one wasn't there to be found. Then in the final pen, just before the door out, she saw a little tail poking out from under a blanket. It twitched a little bit just as Rebecca walked past. She leaned down to have a closer look. Hello there, what's your name? There was no reply, but the tail did give another little twitch. Rebecca turned to leave and then she heard a shy little voice say, Licorice Mick. The voice had come from under the blanket. Hello, Licorice Mick. Why don't you come out from under the blanket so that I can see what you look like? Oh, you don't want to see me. I'm just a plain sort of average cat. Nobody ever really gives me a second look. But thank you so much for saying hello. Come on, said Rebecca. Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? It's nice to have a little chat. Well, I like cat treats a lot. I like flicking them under the cooker in the fridge especially. Oh, I like staring out of windows too. And I like watching that David Attenborough's programmes. Most of all though, I like sitting on people's laps and having a nice fuss. Oh, well, I've got to go now, Mick, but please could I just have a little peek at you so I can tell my mum all about you. The blanket began to move and from underneath, Licorice Mick slowly revealed himself. 
He had silky short head, pure black coat and big bright lemon eyes. And that's when it happened. Rebecca's tummy started to flutter and her heart began to leap like a training shoe in a tumble dryer. Rebecca ran out of the door. Mom, 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 I found him. I found my special one. Mom, come quick, he's beautiful. And she was right. Because you see, even though they never shout about it, black cats are indeed very, very special. The end.